It's not easy to open a small business or to maintain the livelihood of one in Boston. Small businesses and Main Street business districts work to survive and thrive, even in periods of external disruption and shock. We spoke to the general manager of The Joint, a local comfort food restaurant in Jamaica Plains. What has been your experience running um, this business during you know, the recent years and challenging times? Well, my experience being that I always live around JB. I didn't realize until I started working here how, uh, how united the JP community is. They really support each other and at the beginning. We, you know, it was mostly takeout, but we seen that how people even support us by just doing takeout. There was people that didn't want to go out to get food, but they were still order online and get food. But and mostly, we survived because of those people. We survived because of the people in the community. These businesses need support. And that's why we are developing a predictive model that operates on both open and private data and is embedded in a user-friendly application that will be known as Main Street Pulse. Main Street Pulse will be a user-friendly planning and monitoring tool that can be used by city planners and by individual businesses to make crucial and critical business decisions such as location siting, rent, payroll budgets, and sales forecasts that leverage projected population shifts. Main Street Pulse will also allow businesses to request support from the city during periods of disruption or shock. In order to create a mechanism like Main Street Pulse, we first need to understand how to proactively identify businesses that are in distress so we can determine the right form of intervention and support from the city. We also have to understand the existing grants and programs the city provides in order to get a sense of what information is needed from small businesses in order to receive aid. This means that a central focus of our research was spent in conducting interviews with Main Street businesses to gain more insights on where the pain points truly lie. One interviewee, Marcos Belashi, the executive director of Port Corners Main Street, described one pain point he faced. Some of the local businesses confided in me that the owner did not have legal status. I had a conversation with the city of Austin who was claiming that relief funds are for everybody, regardless of status. By the very end of the relief application, there were section on certification. A person had to certify that they were a natural or legal resident. People are not comfortable jeopardizing their position. There are folks that I've worked with that could be eligible or would have been eligible, but they felt that they didn't want to share information about their business, their income, what have you, with the city. This was extremely insightful as it revealed the dynamic of trust between small business owners and the city and how the city's applications limit the potential aid that could be provided. This was further highlighted in the interview with Mr. Belashi. We have a couple of businesses in the district that are still cash only. What we learned during the pandemic was that folks were unprepared to document their expenses. That turned into a struggle to make a case for their eligibility for relief funds. Many of them depend on accountants to prepare their income taxes. So I think that there's a lot more that could be done just to support them in thinking about their finances besides, I have money or I don't have money. Main Street Pulse will leverage secure computation and change the incentive structures to encourage better data contribution. Ultimately, the city can make better data-driven decisions to support the livelihood of small businesses. Communities can thrive and create a more stable economic impact throughout the city.